Welcome to Schofield Farm. I'm Carice and it is a beautiful January day here in Northern California. My family and I live on three and a half acres in Northern California, right outside the second sunniest city in the US. And even though we are in zone 9B and can grow food year round, we still have to take some precautions when it comes to growing citrus trees, especially growing citrus in the ground. We have to do some things to keep them safe over the winter. I have a video about that, but today I want to show you just one of the precautions that we're doing in real life because we've got some really cold lows on the horizon. My little Meyer lemon tree, it is, well, it's a dwarf tree, so it's supposed to be small, but look how it is yellowing. This is because it has been pretty cold out and the temperatures are affecting it. I have just one linen left on it, which I'm gonna leave there since it hasn't turned the nice orangey color, but I'm going to put this bag over the top and get it all the way down to the bottom. I do have this insulation tubing, this pipe insulation tubing over the trunk. This actually helps a ton with keeping it warm, but also these frost bags, they make a big difference. They helped my trees last year through one of our coldest winters. So I'm gonna put this on all of the in-ground citrus trees just to give them the extra protection they need for these really cold temperatures that are coming up in the next week. I will probably leave these on the trees most of the winter because, I don't know, I don't like to take any risks with these trees. I've lost too many trees in the ground from a sudden cold snap after things that I thought had warmed up. So I just try to keep it on a long time. They let sunlight in, they let rain in, so they can be on the tree for a long time. I'll tighten it up around the bottom with this little tightening bag. Probably kind of push the leaves back down around it so it keeps it from wind. And it's that easy. These are, I think, like a medium-sized bag. It could be a small, but I think it's a medium. They can get larger, but obviously if you have like a huge full grown tree, you're not gonna need this. You'll have to do different ways to protect them from the cold. It's supposed to get down to 30 degrees tonight, which is pretty cold for where we live. It actually, I looked at the temperature and the forecast said possibly 22 next weekend, which is very hard to believe. We don't really get down to 22, but just in case, I thought it would be pretty important to put the covers on all the trees. I'm gonna show you how I do it on my Mandarin Grove, and I'm gonna let you see how they look. They do look a little affected by the cold, not dead by any means, but some yellowing, which is why I think it's the perfect timing to do it right now. Here is my most established Clementine. And you can see that there's just a little bit of sadness among some of the top leaves. And I just think that's because it's been too cold. So that is why I think it's time to cover them. This Clementine had a lot of new growth, but that's the leaves that are yellowing mostly. So I think they're tender and they need a little bit more protection just to get through the cold months. This tree we've only had in the ground for like I think a year and a half, maybe not even quite. This is the second winter it has been on our property in the ground. You can see the cover, which helps a lot. This poor little Satsuma. Satsumas are actually frost tolerant down to like 15 degrees, but it is so small because I had a frost bag on last year when it snowed and we don't really get snow that often. So I didn't know that you it's better to take the frost bag off so the snow doesn't crush it. So there was a lot of it that was up here that was dead. This part was alive. I feel like now that I have the knowledge, which is power to take it off, it will thrive. It's not gonna do this again. So we're gonna put this on, cinch it up. Let's see what we can find, the cincher. And we're gonna try to kind of get it maybe a little bit under that so it doesn't blow away. Really not that difficult to do the winterizing stuff. It's just kind of a pain. Like it took us about 45 minutes to find the frost bags that were buried in our garden shed. So those kind of things, it's kind of a pain, but the actual putting it on is super, super fast and pretty simple. This 
is my bushes mandarin. I wish all of my mandarins looked like this already. Hopefully this one gets even bigger this next year in the spring and summer. forecasted 22 may have changed it's still a week away so I'm hoping that you know it actually doesn't get that low it would be a super bummer these are supposed to be hardy down to 17 and 15 but young trees don't always act that way so I'm gonna play it safe instead of sorry and get them nice and covered this one, the cincher came off. If it's windy, it may go flying. So obviously we'll have to keep an eye on it, but there's no wind right now. All right. This tree even had some new growth, like late fall, early winter. But now that we've had some cold spells, it's gonna stall growing for a while, which is what we want it to do. We don't want it to be growing all winter. Oh, oh this one got all tangled. Okay, we're just gonna have to weigh it down nicely. It's a pretty fast chore. Doesn't have to take long. These last several seasons, I was trying to remember how long we've had them and I don't know. It might have been, might have been three years. We haven't had all these tree three years, but we had some trees that die. We have had that Meyer lemon over by itself. So we bought two ways back. So some of them we had three years, I guess, but the Meyer lemon is a tree that we've had the longest. It's actually not the largest tree, but I think I've said in other videos, we planted it wrong. We actually put it right into the alkaline soil that citrus trees like more acidic soil. So we learned the hard way. Lots of things we've learned the hard way. That's life. That's gardening, growing food is you either learn from other people or you learn from your own mistakes, but either way you learn. We want it all the way down all the way down to the ground. Hold in the heat. All right, two more left. I actually have enough bags to cover my pomegranates. Pomegranates should not need to be covered, but a couple years ago, we had a sudden cold snap after the pomegranates had started blooming and that killed our pomegranate tree. So I'm not gonna put the bags on the pomegranates right now. They should be fine, they're dormant. But if that happens again, if we get them leafing out and blooming, and then I see coal on the horizon, I have enough bags that I can throw something over the top and save them. All right, one more, and then we're good for now. It is pretty cold out here right now. Nothing that's gonna kill a citrus tree, but I think I might freeze. <laughs> All right, last one for today. Super nice. All our potted citrus is nice against the house. We put the little insulation tubing on them just to be safe, but I don't think ours need covers because they do have the eaves. They have the warmth of the house. I think those are gonna be fine. But otherwise, this is good. I think we are going to survive the cold weather. Okay, Mandarin Grove covered, check. We did it. This should be good for the cold weather. Love having you guys join me. And a little bit of my craziness. It can be crazy running around trying to find things. You guys missed the bulk of the time of this video was my boys searching in the garden shed for the bags that supposedly were put there. They said weren't there. They were put there. They were there. So that was most of the time, but you guys only had to see me cover them. Anyway, have a good day. Hope it doesn't get too cold where you're at because we are hoping that we do not hit 22. Even 30, 29 is really cold for us. It's morning and it got really, really, really cold last night. By really cold, that is a pretty hard freeze. That is thick frost, not snow. We don't get it like this very often at all.
my garden temp says it got down to about 25.5 which is super cold this is the test for these things you guys i have the I have the things on. Oh, that one didn't get it on. Oh, that's nervous for me. The rest of them have the little piping on and the house warmth and the eaves. And we will see how these lemons are because they feel squishy still because they should be frozen solid. I didn't think it'd get so cold last night. I thought it would get to 30, which is why I covered the citrus in the ground we'll see this feels pretty good too still so we will see how my couple oranges are the trees look fine and the water that i was collecting from the rain is is frozen solid so that's a pretty cold temp for us frozen solid